Hello kids. Today we're going to talk about this week's um, Torah portion, Vaishlach. Vaishlach means, and he sent. In this portion, Jacob is fearing for his life because his brother Esau is coming, is coming to meet him with 400 men. So why is Jacob so frightened by Esau? So, um, in an earlier portion, do you remember that Jacob stole Esau's blessing? I have it right here. Um, let's see. This is Genesis 27, 30 through 35. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, when Jacob had scarcely gone out from the presence of, his, of Isaac, his father, Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. He also prepared delicious food and brought it to his father. He said to his father, let my father arise and eat his son's game, that he, you may bless me. His father Isaac said to him, Who are you? He answered, I am your son, your firstborn, Esau. Then Isaac trembled very violently and said, Who is it then that hunted game and brought it to me? And I ate it all before you came, and I blessed him. Yes, and he shall be blessed. As soon as Esau heard the words of his father, he cried out with an exceedingly great bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me too. Bless me too, father. But he said, your brother came deceitfully, and he has taken away your blessing. So, after all this happened, Esau vowed to kill Jacob. And now he's coming to meet Jacob with 400 men. So, naturally, Jacob was afraid. So Jacob came up with a plan. He split his family into two camps. That way, if Esau attacked one of the camps, the other one could get away. So that night Jacob was selecting gifts to give to Esau because he wanted to he wanted to get Esau's favor. But that later when he was alone, a man suddenly attacked him and they wrestled till dawn. Um, when the neither gained the upper hand, the stranger touched Jacob's hip and dislocated it. Nevertheless, Jacob held on to the man and, and wouldn't let go until he blessed him. The man who revealed himself to be God blessed him by changing his name to Israel because he said he had struggled with God and man and overcame. The next day Esau arrived and surprisingly he had forgiven Jacob. Now this is crazy because Jacob conned everything away from Esau and he still forgave him. That's the kind of forgiveness that God wants to see in us. That reminds me, now going back a little when God renamed Jacob to Israel, the place where he had done it Jacob named Peniel because he had seen God face to face and his life was spared. It's a similar situation to Esau. Um, he went to Esau and presented gifts to him, but Esau declined because he had everything he needed. But Jacob said, no, please, if I have found favor in your eyes, then you will take my gifts. This is the reason I've seen your face, for it is like the face of God, and you have accepted me. Now here's a theory of mine. God wrestling with Jacob was to signify his fear of Esau and what could, ha could have happened. And then when he overcame his fear, God named him Israel because he overcame. A proof of this is that, over is that do you remember whenever his plan to separate the two groups? Well, he actually ended up taking both to Esau. So anyways, that was the first story in Parsha Vayashlach. Thank you for listening and Shabbat Shalom. He went to Esau and presented gifts to Esau.